All right, I got a few cool tricks for you guys today. If you're feeling stuck or you're running out of ideas or you simply need a booster to jumpstart your next idea, what I'm talking about here is converting your audio to MIDI. By using this technique, you can extract all sorts of cool melodies, drum patterns, and chords for your next composition. I think you guys are gonna have fun with these techniques. By the way, my name is Stranger, and if you wanna improve your music production and sound design, especially with dance music and drum and bass, then this channel is for you. And if this sounds good to you, it'd be awesome if you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And also I wanna keep creating content that actually helps you and that brings you value. So comment down below and let me know what other topics you'd like to see me cover. What other issues are you having with music production and what other genres do you wanna see me produce? All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple cool tricks to help you jumpstart your next idea. And by the way, for today's video, our sponsor has a free pack for you guys. And I know I got some comments recently about sponsors. And my response to you guys is that I always do my best to give you guys value and help you guys learn while occasionally giving exposure to sponsors. This really helps me keep doing what I do, which is to help you guys succeed and progress and creating this content for free so hopefully you guys will stick around with me here and again today's pack is for free so hopefully you guys appreciate that okay the first trick i learned recently i was actually quite blown away and uh i mean it might seem simple to you guys but if you have a break beat or a drum loop if you pull it into an audio track so here's a think break And I've showed this in a recent YouTube short. Uh, I wanted to show you guys again here with a little more detail. So if you right click on this break, uh, you can convert audio to MIDI with these three parameters. And you have three choices. You can convert it to a harmony, to melody, or to drums. So for this one, we want to convert drums to a new MIDI track. So click this. And what it's done is it's converted the audio information into MIDI. And what I found really cool and I didn't notice until recently is that it can split it into it separate kick snare and hi-hats and what's great about this is you get the groove of that think break applied to individual drum hits and by default it brings in one of ableton's stock drum machines So notice the swing on those hi-hats it mirrors the swing on the think break So this is super cool because now you can take this pattern and apply it to your own drum hit. So I'm going to bump this up to 170 beats per minute. And then we're going to bring in our own hits. Now, just one thing about this method is depending on the audio sample, it may not detect all the hits. Unfortunately, there isn't a parameter to increase the sensitivity of detecting the, the transients for the MIDI hits, which is sometimes um, I prefer manually adding the warp markers and slicing it to MIDI, which is what you've seen in my previous videos. But the only thing with slicing to MIDI, it doesn't split it to separate kick, snare, and hi-hat. So that's the benefit of this method. So there's some pros and cons, but I wanted to show you these various methods so you have more techniques at your disposal. All right, so today's free pack is by our sponsor, Unison Audio. It's called the Beatmaker Blueprint. It's a free teaser pack, and this contains over 400 samples. It's all royalty-free. There's some really great one-shot drum hits, as well as some musical loops and bass loops. There's some great 808s. Some cool atmospherics. That'd be a nice pad for some jungle. I like these melodic one shots as well. And 
And then there's these really good melodic loops which you can use to start ideas. That one's super funky. There's some pretty good one shots here that I found some really good kicks here. The claps are great. Uh, snare, there's some good snares. So yeah, this pack is for free. So if you're interested in grabbing it, I'll leave a link down below. All right, so I created a drum kit using the single hits from the Unison Beatmaker pack. And I've pulled in that MIDI that we extracted from the Think Break. And then we can explore the MIDI here. We can take some of these hits. For example, we can layer this clap with this uh, rim shot here. So that thickens it up. Take this, let's move it to hi-hat. Notice how uh, you get the groove of the Think Break here. That's what's great with this uh, technique is that you can use the groove from a breakbeat to build your own drums. Let's take these ghost hits over here and then we can bring it down to a snare. Okay, now this snare sounds a bit long, so we're gonna tighten it. Okay, that's sounding more drum and bass now. And let's duplicate this loop. All right, and let's add some additional hits to make this a little funky. And we're gonna add a little drum roll here. Right, and we can add another double hit here. Let's add another kick here for two step. And here's some percussive sounds for the unison pack. Made this little section here. This adds a little more funk. And then we can bring the think break back just for a little more funk. All right, and that's sounding super funky. All right, here's the next trick. And this is quite cool when you have an audio sample such as a vocal sample or even another instrument. And this could even be a recording of your own voice. You could take this and convert it to the melody. So remember there's three options here. So this time we're gonna convert melody to new MIDI track. All right, and now we have the individual notes for that melody. All right, and let's pull that MIDI clip into Serum. And I'm using a preset from my gnarly pack. It's the B-A-U-K Benny Squelch. And let's alter this preset a little. Let's shift oscillator A's octave by one and then increase the semitone by seven. Let's add some saturation. And let's take this melody and shift that five semitones up from D to G. So this gives you an instant way of getting bass lines or even melodies, depending on what instrument you're using. Just take your favorite audio sample, or again, you can record yourself and then convert it to MIDI and can, you can use that as MIDI information. Now for something like this, sometimes it's cool to bring that original sample layer back. And then we can add another layer of that, a pitch down by negative 12 using Complex Pro and bringing the format down to zero. So you got that ghostly effect. Let's hear that together. So 
you get a really rich palette of sound by using this technique. Let's hear it with the drums. All right, that's super funky. All right, and finally, I've pulled in this uh, melodic loop from the Unison Pack. Nice, funky California vibes. I'm just going to bring the pitch down negative four to match the key of this song. So I'm going to show you a method where you can find cool chords. If you have a nice loop like this, which has chords, you can right click. And this time we're going to choose convert harmony to MIDI track. So using this method, it's given us the chords as opposed to previously, it gave us single notes, right? So depending on the option you use, you're going to get different results, whether you choose drums, melody or harmony. So harmony will give you the bed of notes. Now, the thing with this is, is you, you'll get a lot of weird notes and artifacts. You're going to have to select your chord and get rid of the notes you don't want. So for example, I like this section here and we can get rid of some of the top notes. This note is probably not supposed to be there, so you can remove it. I'll remove these small notes here and I'm going to create a long chord from this. And we'll just uh, take this section here right, and get rid of it again. You got to clean up all the notes you don't want. And then you have the full chords here. All right, and then you can take this MIDI clip and we, I'm going to pull it into pigments. And that's sounding really sweet. So let's put this all into an arrangement here. And one thing about this method of grabbing chords, you don't actually have to use the progression. Maybe you just want one of these chords, right? And you can take this chord and just play old school style jungle by transposing the chords, right? You could just take really this last chord and just uh, shift it in, into different keys, right? And you get that old school jungle vibe. Let's layer this with the original sample. All right, sounding super lush. All right, so now that we have all the parts together and I have it laid out in the arrangement, so let's hear the track in full. <laughs> All right, some funky vibes here. And what I really like about this method is that converting that vocal to the bass line, you get the human groove of those notes. There's a really nice funkiness to the cadence of that bass line. If you hear it over the drums, especially when it goes stabby here. 
Super funky, a lot of soul. So really cool methods here when you convert your audio to MIDI. So I encourage you guys to try this out. All right, as you can see, this is a fun technique that you can use to get some ideas, especially when you need some vibes or you need a booster for your next track. Remember, you're not limited to just audio samples. You can always record yourself singing or beatboxing and convert that to MIDI. One key takeaway here is to learn and analyze the MIDI information. Look at the patterns, positions, and chords. You might just pick up some new ideas and tricks. It's a valuable tool not only to get some inspiration, but also to learn the intricacies of what makes music sound good. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you can hit the like button so more people like yourself can see my channel. Of course, follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I'm providing additional content. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video. Just wanna let you know that we have a new album out on Deviant Audio by our very own Flo Anastasia. It features some awesome tracks by Nympho, Loco, Tear Kahoot, and myself. You can check it out in the link below.